All right, today we are going into our third and final rock type known as metamorphic rocks. We talked about what metamorphic rocks are, what causes them to form. Um, so remind yourselves, metamorphic rocks form from heat and pressure. That is the cause of metamorphic rocks. Now there are two types of metamorphic rocks, right? There's the foliated and there's the non-foliated metamorphic rocks, right? I only today want us to focus on the texture, right? So the difference between foliated and non-foliated. You'll see that in the foliated category, there are two types of foliations, right? The first type is banded or banding. The second type of foliation is mineral alignment, okay? So foliated has two types. Everything else is considered non-foliated. So let's see what this actually looks like. Anytime you see lines, right? Whether they're straight or not, when you have lines, you're dealing with foliated rocks, right? So this category over here, these are all foliated. Now, sometimes the lines are squiggly due to the intense heat and pressure, right? We call this first type banding, right? So they are banded layers. Other times the layers are flat, right? So when we're dealing with the flat types that look like you can peel, like you can peel these off, we're dealing with the mineral alignment okay so mineral alignment think flat layers banding think squiggly both are considered foliated the other type non-foliated would be every other type of rock anytime you don't see these lines right we're dealing with a non-foliated rock no particular pattern right there's no lines there's no alignment at all this would be considered a non-foliated rock